Hey, Lisa here. I love celebrations. I love birthdays, anniversaries, and pretty much any achievements. So next week is International Women's Day. It's a day where we get to celebrate everything that women are and everything that they do. At Thought Leaders Business School, we're hosting a breakfast session to gather and celebrate all of the extraordinary women in our community. 52% of our community are women. I am grateful to lead a community where women are supported and celebrated and honoured both by other women and by the fabulous men that make up the other 48% of our collective. 73% of the team that I lead at Thought Leaders are women, smart, capable women who use their initiative and their expertise every day to build everything that we offer. So next Tuesday we will be celebrating just how much women bring to the table. The leadership, the expertise and the efforts made across so many industries and organisations. As leaders, women are intuitive, they're efficient and compassionate. Many men I work with also have these qualities, but rather than trying to make us all the same, I want to celebrate our differences. The power of difference is a wonderful conversation worth having. The fact is we are different, we're raised differently, we're treated differently and we approach things differently. I love the difference and think more time should be spent on merging our skills and energies rather than opposing them. There are times when leadership needs to be soft and nurturing. There are times when bold strength is what is required. And working together, embracing the combined energy, the combined experience and expertise of men and women is the world that I want to work and live in. People love to make things wrong especially things they don't understand. And for years, men and women have been making each other wrong, and I don't think it's helpful. I think celebrating our differences and owning them is the gift. I agree that many women have been wronged by many men, and I know many men who have been wronged by women. And the system that sets us up in opposition is actually the issue. The patriarchy that's made women worth less than men, the angry response and the rage that women experienced and still do most days, I think it's time that we looked at ourselves, that we looked at what we bring to the table and what we need to put down. Being angry never helps. Being open and understanding does. It's the training that everyone has received that's the actual problem here. The beliefs, the experiences and the rigidness that has done us in. When examining our beliefs, where they come from and recommitting to new ones that are useful, I think is really important work. Reframing our experiences, owning our behaviours and moving through rather than staying stuck to me seems like the way forward. In my experience, rigidity never works. The world needs leaders who are open, expansive and can yield to all of the circumstances around them. The do as I say, father knows best, I'm right, you're wrong kind of righteousness is just not modern and it's not effective and it doesn't work. I love being a woman. I also love men. I love masculine women. I love feminine men. And I love the idea that we get to choose and play at any line, any end of this line, regardless of our gender. Making men wrong doesn't make women right. It's just not that simple. So what makes women right is power, support and understanding. The same things that make men right. When we understand ourselves, we have the support we need and we are in our power, we can actually be the leaders that the world needs. When we are not clear on where our energy is coming from, when we are overwhelmed or under-supported, we don't turn up as the people that others want to follow. So follow the leader is an old saying. I need a good reason to follow someone. I need them to be inspiring, to be clever, convicted and authentic. I need people to know who they are, what they want and where they are going, so they are worth following and worth celebrating, regardless of their gender. Music.